it's Tani Games here. Welcome back to the channel. We're here today to talk about a tweet from Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm very, very excited to get into it. I love that we're getting like teasers already. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. And it really makes me think the update could be coming on the 21st. I, I just have an inkling. I think originally I was leaning more towards the 28th. But I, I think the 21st, I, I think that's when we're going to get it. So I'm really excited. Um, but why don't we jump over to Twitter, have a look at what they've posted. It is about the star path. Um, so yeah, let's jump over there and take a look. So here we are on Twitter and the tweet says a new update is on its way. And as you guessed it, it's star path teaser time. Can you guess what our next theme will be from the emojis below? Now, before I get into that, I do just want to say, in the article that they posted the other day, they already talked about the star path and mentioned about like a 1920s theme. So I'm thinking we're going to get a very Tiana inspired star path, probably a bit like how the Mulan one is. Um, originally, I was thinking it could be mixed, like the lovely monster star path. But talking it through with like the community and Discord and stuff like that, um, we did sort of come to an idea that perhaps um, the Timon and Pumba one, that star path could be mixed because that one's going to come around Halloween time. Like obviously if it's in October, that's nearer to Halloween. So perhaps that might be mixed to have some like Lion King themes and also Halloween themes. But the Tiana one might follow as the Mulan one did and stick to a very Tiana based star path. Um, so with that in mind, let's take a look at these emojis. So our first one is a fire. Um, the second one is a fly. <laughs> the next one is a feather. And following that, we have a scarf. And then on the bottom, we have water. No, sorry, droplet. And then we have Tokyo Tower. Now, one thing I did test... <laughs> was because I was very confused by the tower when I had a look and seen it specifically said Tokyo Tower I was like huh um but I actually typed in tower on the emojis button on Twitter and the only tower that comes up when you type in tower is the Tokyo Tower so I think the Tokyo on that tower thing is not something to pay attention to because originally I started going down a rabbit hole of that and I was looking at what the Tokyo Tower had to do with Disney <laughs> It was, it was, I was way out. And then I was looking at the Tower of Terror in Tokyo and I think, I think I went way, way down the wrong rabbit hole. Um, but I think it's meant to be a fire fly. We have a feather and a scarf. What is a common feather scarf? Well, a feather boa. And then we have the water or the droplet, which is meant to signify water and the the Tokyo Tower is just meant to signify tower, so water tower. So with the Firefly, the obvious association with that is going to be Ray from Princess and the Frog. Now, I absolutely adore Ray and his whole storyline with Evangeline. In fact, the whole storyline with Evangeline is why Evangeline is my personal name pick if I ever had a girl. Like, that's <laughs> pretty much the whole reasoning behind it. I mean, there's a couple of other, like... um sort of like how do I say this like pop culture like Eva's or Evie's as well but like I thought Evangeline would be perfect and it's all because pretty much of this film like literally when I first saw this I fell in love with the name even though I know someone called Evangeline by the way I just want to point it out <laughs> oh my <laughs> One of my very, very close friends, her sister's called Evangeline. So I don't know why I never liked it then. But after watching this film, I fell in love with it. I think it's just because, like, the love story between Ray and Evangeline is just beautiful. And that just made me, like, fall in love. So I'm thinking we either get some sort of firefly based kind of wings. Like, I know the firefly wings are just plain, like, fly wings but maybe we might get some glowing wings the other thing is we get a kind of like cricky based outfit but for ray um so maybe the outfit comes with like a big butt extension <laughs> I can just 
imagine our characters walking around with a big like ball on their butt that just glows. <laughs> I'm so why I just find the thought of this so amusing. Um I think either way, whether it's a hint at wings or a cricky inspired outfit but for a fly fly, I think I'm gonna be happy because the thought of having a giant ball coming from my butt <laughs> that lights up <laughs> sounds hilarious to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm happy either way. I'm happy either way. Um <laughs> The next thing was the feather boa or the feather scarf, which I'm assuming is a feather boa. Um, and who wears an iconic feather boa? None other than Charlotte. Fantastic. I hope we get her outfit. I'm hoping that we either get some kind of feather boa like accessories, like maybe they come as like a uh, a back thing, perhaps like it goes around the i just worry about how that would work animation wise like especially if our characters run in so i wonder if a one piece outfit is gonna work better kind of thing because if it if they do it as a one piece outfit you know how on some of the elegant ball gowns the hands of the character are to the front perhaps they might do something similar with this kind of outfit um, where our character's hands are sort of more kept forward so that the feather boa can be animated around the arms, I'm thinking. Um, I mean, that it may be that they're able to animate a feather boa on every character individually as just like an accessory, but I would think the easiest method for them to do it would be to, like, they've done the ball gowns. Um, so... I could certainly see us getting an outfit like this, like get her outfit. I mean, let's face it, we have had character outfits come into the store. You know, we've had Rapunzel's dress, we've had Mulan's armour kind of come in and stuff like that. So I could definitely see this being a thing. And I would absolutely love this. I think this outfit is gorgeous. I think it's so, so pretty. And oh my God, if we could get those shoes too with the like little bows on them. Oh my god, adorable. I would absolutely love that and the hat. I'm so excited for the clothing that's going to come. I think it's going to be so fun and kind of very different to what we currently have. So I think that's going to be a fun addition. Now, if we go back and talk about this last option, <laughs> or that I went down a crazy rabbit hole <laughs> of trying to connect the Tokyo Tower to Disneyland. Um... I was very reliably informed that, of course, the latest ride in Disney World, I think, uh, basically, is it Splash Mountain was what it was called, and it's now Tiana's Adventure or something. Um, let me just bring up the picture. Yeah, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So this is what the new ride is. Um, they basically remodeled the old Splash Mountain into this. Um, and with that comes this water tower. So I'm thinking we could potentially get just this water tower on its own. Um, which I could definitely see them adding as a decor thing. But I'm wondering if they might actually give us it as a ride. <laughs> and I know that might be a very controversial thing to say. Because a lot of us are absolutely sick of rides. <laughs> like, I know we've had enough of the kind of, like, whole theme park vibes and stuff. It's overdone. But we know that Gameloft are, or at least the creators for Disney Dreamlight Valley, are big fans of the rides. You know, a lot of the um, the items we get are parks-inspired um so i could see him adding this into the game not only is it like promotion for this ride which i think opened up this summer maybe early summer or something like that so it's good promotion for that and then obviously also promotion of the game and the event and tiana and things like that so it could be possible that we get our first like in-game water ride which I think would be fun, just to have something a bit different. And I think depending on how they do it, if it's decorated a bit like this, so it, it like I'm thinking Nala's waterfall kind of vibes, but with a ride like the log flume kind of running through it. 
Um, like if it looked like that, it could work as a nice bit of decor, perhaps. Um, so that's kind of maybe <laughs> what I'm thinking we could get here. Like I said, it could be that we just get this tower um but it would be nice i think personally to get the ride i would certainly love some signage like this or like just even these as like lamp posts how cute would they look like floral lamp posts a bit like the vine flower lamp kind of thing i think that would be so fun i i would really really like that i think so i guess these are my theories <laughs> As to what we may be getting with this uh, Star Path teaser, I do think that we're going to be looking at uh, a Ray costume or some kind of Firefly light up wings. Uh, I think we're going to get a Feather Boa, uh, possibly Charlotte's outfit, just to make the animation a bit more smoother and easier. Um, and I think we're going to get some form or iteration of this bio adventure. That is my theory. But you are all going to have to let me know what your theories are in the comments down below. Because I'm very intrigued to see what you guys have to say. Um, I love hearing what you all have on theories and stuff like that. Um, I do want to just highlight before I end this video. There is some sort of... Um, hack glitch trick thing where you can get a certain item a brick wall item and a certain flooring a magnolia flooring um unfortunately as far as i'm aware there's no way to act like to test that and how to get it um without it being a furniture dream snap challenge and i've been kind of hesitant to talk about it or post on it because until I can sort of see or test it for myself, I kind of don't want to be spreading around information that... I'm not going to say it's misinformation, that's not the right word, but like... Information that I can't go, hey, I've seen this myself, or hey, I've done this myself kind of thing. I usually try to make sure I'm aware of how you do something or make sure something's doable before reporting on it because i think getting people excited for a trick that perhaps um people won't be able to do or the developers might even patch if they know we know about it um yeah i just that's why i haven't said anything about it it's why i didn't really post about it in the discord even though i saw it from the dreamlight leaks um discord and stuff like that which i love what they do all over there <laughs> i have no uh issues with them at all um but i just want to inform people why i haven't really spoken about it yet because i want to be able to test it for myself because i think all the information has just come from one source and i think people aren't even able to put these items in their game um so yeah i just i just want to test it for myself if that makes sense i don't want to give any wrong instructions or anything that's why so um if you're wondering why i haven't spoken on it that's why i just want <laughs> i want to make sure i give you as correct information as possible because when I did the video for the Inside Out Mania memory thing event, um, that was a really poorly done video because I didn't fully know everything um, and was kind of working it out as I go. And I felt awful about that because I knew the quality wasn't there. So that's my reasoning. I just want to make sure that if I give any information now, I'm going to give it in the correct way rather than just like guessing so yeah there might be a video on that coming soon if we do get a decor challenge next week but yeah that's just to give you a heads up on that um but yeah as i said let me know your theories in the comments down below um i'm very excited to talk about this i'm so excited for the update i have a couple of videos planned um i do have a tips for the star path video that i want to do and also um items that i'm gonna like that i think might come from the film uh to this update as i did with the mulan one i did that and that was a lot of fun watching mulan and then kind of getting some items and some of those guesses were not far off to be fair um <laughs> so i i kind of want to do something similar with 
Princess and the Frog is what I did with my Mulan video where I go through, I pick out items that I think might come to the game. Um, so yeah, that video will come hopefully soon. Um, I might have to try and do some mass recordings on Sunday or so. I don't know. Um, I feel like end of the week and beginning of next week is going to be better for content because all my uh, school classes are Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So sorry for the lack of content recently. Um, but I do have plans for more content to come. Uh, so please just stick with me. <laughs> don't give up on me yet <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try my best to get as much out to you as I can um but thank you all for your time today I really appreciate it I love each and every one of you my subscribers the people who comment and of course especially the channel members your support is just unmatched so thank you so so much um but yeah I'll leave it here I can't wait to see you in the next video Bye, guys. Bye, guys.